After meeting in a speaker's Kamkunji, the CIOC chair who was flanked by the Justice Minister clarified that the Election Amendment Act will be two-folded and will go a long way in giving the country an ample time for appropriate elections preparations. The reason why we're doing this is that the elections regulations, and they deal with four separate areas, on elections, on voter registration, on civic education, and on diaspora voting. Those areas are very critical and require, one, for Parliament to have enough time to discuss, uh, debate, and deliberate on them, and two, for enough members of the public to have a look at them, especially those who are in the diaspora, so that they can interface with Parliament and give their inputs and, and views on those. The Justice Minister is in total concurrence with this need to amend the Elections Act, but clarifies that these should not be misinterpreted for a bid to extend the elections debt. Uh, as of this morning, uh, as the Honorable Chair uh, of CIOC has said, it has become clear that uh, uh, the three committees of uh, the House, the CIOC, the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, the Committee on Delegated Legislation have all asked for time. It's not possible to finish the four documents, do justice to them, and pass the uh, uh, approval of the regulations this afternoon. The Justice Minister added that this amendment will encompass other elections-related issues, which include the one-third gender representation tassel. Jojo Kachi, GBS News.